my name is Anika Christopher from the Virgin Islands and I am reporting live at COP29 in Azerbaijan for the OECS. There are over 50,000 attendees with hundreds of side events happening simultaneously. And at the same time, the side that you don't see of COP is there are negotiations happening with every nation represented, and that includes the OECS. AOSIS continues to be a voice for vulnerable small island nations who continue to face the brunt of climate change. And here we have our usual protests that have become a staple here at COP. Many people are protesting and they believe the time is now for concrete action. 1.5 to survive! We are here at COP29 and we are here with Melvin Wajiri. Correct. Tell us a bit about what you're here today doing and who you're representing. Oh, I'm representing People Empowering People. It's a non-profit that is established in 45 countries in Africa for young people. So here I'm engaging young people to understand the process of negotiation, how it happens in COP. Because the, the, neg the negotiation is taking place in, co in closed doors, but the young people are not even involved or aware. This afternoon at the CARICOM Pavilion, we will be hosting the preview launch of the Caribbean Climate Justice Anthology called Writing for Our Lives. It will feature writers from all across the region, including myself, uh, through a series of audio and video presentations. My name is Anika Christopher. Stay tuned on all of our social media platforms as we keep you updated as the week progresses.